Let's play some Revolution. Welcome to Coasty Notes. I'm just going to be doing a couple of Karnov's Revenge Revolution matches. Lava Lava Lover. A little match commentary while we're doing it. We're just looking to have a good time. Now, this matchup is still very good for Gene, I think, but Ryoko has gotten a few more tools to deal with him. Just need to stay patient, anti air consistently. Classic Zona versus Grappler stuff. Alright, Lava has gotten a read on one of my habits, which is throwing a fireball after sweep, which lets them kind of jump in for free against me. So I need to be careful of that. Space my fireballs a little bit better. Anti-air better. There we go. That's more like it. Round two, fight! I really just need to play this match very defensively, kind of wall Ryoko out with my crouching light kick, which can stuff her roll. And hopefully give me time to uh, anti-air when she decides to jump in. Even if it trades, that's still good for me, I think. Because it knocks Ryoko away, and I want her far away. Oh, got me. There we go, got a little chip. Get that chip kill. I do. Jean wins! So yeah, overall, good matchup for Gene, but if Ryoko gets in, she can still wreck him. Ryoko. The problem is getting in. Round one, fight! Now getting an anti-air there seems to give me an opportunity to throw a fireball for free, but I'm wondering if she can roll past it when I do. Ooh, the cross-ups. There's the stun. I probably could have gone for another rep of the hands loop, but if I had dropped it, I'm so close to stun right now that that, would, <laughs> that could have been the round for me. If my dropping the combo had been punished. Ah, there we go. Gonna be big damage. See, one mistake and getting stunned put me that far down on life. Thankfully, Gene has a really good desperation move in this version. That was that uh, leaping flip where he shows his butt to you that you saw. Hits overhead, has a great hitbox, very fast. But he only gets one per round. See, all I really need to do in this matchup is get a life lead and sit on it. I shouldn't have been jumping there. There was no reason for me to jump. Just crouch light kick to discourage the roll. Anti-air when she jumps. See, I threw a fireball there. I, I broke from the plan and I got punished for it. Did it again. Thought I could be sneaky and get one in. Now I'm getting hit by 
Yoko's desperation move. Just gotta throw mine out. It looks like because she is so she short, wins. it can actually cross up, which is fantastic. No, I'm certainly not going to be sad about that. Just one more tool in an already good matchup for him. There we go, that time I got two reps. I do. Jean wins! Let's just try to stick to the game plan, except uh, if I do get a stun opportunity, I do want to try going for more reps of the hands loop, because it can be done more than twice if you have your spacing right, get your micro walks right. It's just hard. Oh, see, I messed it up there. That's okay, just something I need to practice. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That little toe tap is doing so much work in this matchup. Round two, fight! Even if my anti-air trades, it still works out for me, see? I did more on the trade than she did. And any kind of health lead is what Jean wants. Ah! With punishing me. Nice, nice, nice. I can do the same thing. For those jumps. Okay, there we go. I did miss one, but I was at least able to block it. But what I want to be doing is anti-airing every time, you know? Because if you are playing a Guile clone, your anti-airs really need to be on point. Because if Gene does not have the lead, if he is behind, he struggles to make it up because his approaching options are not very good. Very defensive-minded character. That See, now I'm in a bad spot, and I need to pay risks and do risky things like sliding in. Now I'm back in the good zone. Oh no! Bad anti-air there. Now I need to be aggressive, which I don't really like to do with Gene, but hey. If it works, it works. Wins. This is a strictly a turtle character, I think. Round At least in this matchup. Fight. His hands pressure, with the hunter hand slap thing there, it can be very good, but this is not a matchup that I want to be doing that kind of thing. Against somebody who can, like, beat him in the fireball war, sure. But see, against a, a grappler like Ryoko, I don't want to be in her face, really. I want to be, like, just outside of the range where I can tag rolls or respond to, to jumps. Oops, see, I missed that one there. And because of that, I got hit with Ryoko's Desperation, which hurts a lot. But I can sneak mine in, too. I do. Jean wins!
zážitky. Bad place for me to throw a fireball. The threat of chip from both fireball and uh, hundred hand slap, I guess, is a decent threat to that. To, to the point that if Gene has like a small life deficit, they still kind of have to respond to that. That was bad confirmation on my part. I should have seen that the second rep was being blocked and not gone for the slide. I could have been punished pretty heavily there. Gene wins! Round two, oh well. fight! Mistakes to work on. Instead of doing repeated gradual light kicks, I should be doing a uh, hundred hand slap with the chip. Because I'm not really looking to confirm a combo there. I just want to push Ryoko out, get a little bit of chip. Because like most of my damage in this matchup is going to be from forcing this character to come to me. Like, see, I walked in when I didn't need to, and look what happened. Dash more. There we go. I do. Okay, so I, again, lessons learned. If I am sitting on a comfortable lead, I don't need to be walking in or jumping in or really taking the risk at that sort of mid to close range of throwing a fireball. I just don't need to, so I shouldn't be doing it. See there, that was a good spot to throw a fireball in because there was not going to be time for her to jump away from that. See, I was pressing sweep there, and I got stuff because I was not sticking to the plan that much. Crouch light kick hands. Crouch light kick hands. Anti-air wind jumps. That is what I need to do. There we go. Got two reps. Nice, nice, nice. Gene wins! Round two. Fight! I'm close to stun, so one mistake could cost me this round. Ah, there's that mistake! <laughs> yep, there we go. I got greedy, mistimed my meaty. This is going to be a lost round, I think. I even whipped my desperation, but it did get me out of the corner at least. But now I have to play aggressively, which is not good. Like, don't get me wrong, Vlad Lava is still jumping at me because that's free damage from anti-airs. But he doesn't need to be doing that. Alright, yeah, that's gonna do it. So that is how you lose a round in this matchup. <laughs> Final round fight! But at least I can't be stunned again. I'm getting a little bit greedy going for these meaties and not timing them, right? That was an opportunity that I could have gotten free damage from an anti-air that I didn't. It may sound like I'm being like overly critical of myself for not getting every anti-air, but that is something you really need to do in this matchup. Because as you've seen, one 
successful punish or jump in from Ryoko can very easily cost you the round. So again, really good matchup for Gene, but you have to you have to actually play it the way that it needs to be played. Which is not letting the grappler in at all. It's the same deal with Mars, the Marstorius matchup, but you can throw more fireballs in that matchup, I feel. Nice. Here, because roll and buttons like that are a threat, I have to be very careful throwing the fireballs. See? She got an LP from that kind of a distance because I was not being careful with them. Let's just try to close this one out quickly. I would like to maybe win the round without getting the stun. Perfect. So that I can stun Ryoko in round two. Jean wins! Like to keep two. that Fight. as an open possibility, but I'm very close to stun too, it looks like. <laughs> There we go. Oh, missed it. And because of that, I got stunned. That is a combo we need to work on. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Quick overheads. I do. Now I know Gene, Gene can wins. actually combo hands into uh, into his desperation, but I haven't really found a clear opportunity to do that yet. I guess maybe if I get a stun combo while I'm low on health, I'll try doing that. Round one, fight! <laughs> Nice. Caught me walking in. When I really didn't need to be walking in again. Yep, and that that's gonna be it. Oh, that didn't kill. Wow. I'm amazed that that didn't kill me. There we go. Just sneak in an overhead. I don't like to use the overhead flip too often because I feel like it's kind of slow and reactable. It's also very bad on block. It's useful as a corner escape, but I think in general, if I'm using it sparingly enough that they kind of forget that it's an option, that's when it actually starts hitting. I do. There we go. Towards the end of the round, I did not need to try to walk in and get hands pressure there. Again, it, it, it worked out for me, but like. I need to keep reminding myself, if I have a lead, don't go in. I don't need to. It can be fun to go in, sure. But it's also a risk that I don't need to be taken. Gene is a character that thrives on making his opponent take the risks instead of them. See, I did it again. 
Stay there, throw this out, throw this out. Bum, bum, bum. You take the risks, not me. There we go. Jean wins! And because round of that, we two. got stun stocked Fight. up for round two. Good spot to win. Oop. Now I don't have the lead, so I do need to go in. I need to get that stun and reestablish the lead. There we go. Got my two reps. And I'm sitting pretty now. I do. And that's all I need to be doing for this matchup. It is 100% a struggle for Ryoko. She got so much better in this version of the game, but this is still just not a good matchup for her. But if she does get that one opportunity to get in and do some real damage, she can make it count. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Threw me out of my slide. That was not a risk that I should have been taking that early in the round. And I was appropriately punished for it. Blech. Now I'm getting desperate. I'm mashing, messing up flash kick inputs. This is very much not where Gene wants to be. So we need to find a way to turn this situation around. Alright, now I've got a little bit of a lead. I can be comfortable again. Go back to the plan. Nice. Oh no! I messed up my desperation input. That time I got it. But that very much was a, a desperate desperation move. Round two. I was just kind of throwing it out, hoping that it hit. I see you. You know the double tra flash kick trick now. You're not going to keep falling for that. So I need to get a lead. Now I can sit on the lead. Time to turtle up. I was overcommitting on my light kick mash there, so I missed my anti-air. Oh, okay, wasn't expecting another jump in that quickly. Throwing out that desperation save me again. Gene wins! So, like, I, I, I took that round, but I feel like I lost what I was trying to do, which is play more solid. Because that desperation is not going to keep hitting forever. I don't mind if that trades as long as I'm getting some kind of damage from it. There we go, through the fast fireball to catch you in your jump startup. Oh no, I shouldn't have gone for the light kick off the air reset. I got stuffed by the command grab. Only need to do one rep there to get the kill. Why risk it? Gene wins! Round two, fight! <laughs> Oh! 
Oh, nice. That was some remarkable patience getting in past the fireballs. Finding the exact right spot to uh, stop me. Pop the rock back with that low. Nice, nice. I tried to go for the light kick off the air reset again. I do. And it, uh, again, it didn't work out for me. So maybe I need to be a little bit more careful about when I go for that off of what the height difference is, because I need to be landing first in order to make that kind of thing work. Round one, fight! Because we're going to doing the uh, command grab off of the air reset while I'm trying to get some free pressure in. It's a really good option for her. One that I need to be a little bit more cognizant of. Ah! Yep, overcommitted. I got greedy going for the ship, but that's okay. I still got the anti-air opportunity. Gene wins! Round two, fight! Uh, I tried to be sneaky and go for a whiff slide into throw, but Lava Level Lover was not having it. See, the idea, at least in my head, is that if I... Ooh, nice, threw me out of another slide. If I condition somebody to block, expecting the hands coming, you know, over and over, I can sneak a throw in. But I'm also questioning, why do I feel the need to do that in this matchup? Because I, I don't want to be close enough to throw Ryoko. That means she's close enough to throw me. As you can see there... <laughs> So I'm going to maybe only go for that if I like, really need to make up a lead. Final round, fight! That is something that I can say for other matchups, not this one. Got me. Okay. There we go. If I maybe back off a little bit off of the air reset, then I'm at least out of throw range. I don't necessarily get all of the same pressure, but I can be safe. I can push her out a little bit, which is what this character needs to be going for. Gene is not an uh, open you up kind of character, really. He's not looking to break right. open your defense. He's looking to make you fail to break open his. Again, at least for this matchup. There are characters that he can't really win the fireball war against, so he needs to play more aggressively at first, at least until he can get that lead. Why am I jumping in? I should not be jumping in. Unless I need to make up a life deficit. Or maybe, like, get out of the corner or something. phone was going off, so I'm going to need to wrap this up after this match. <laughs> That's how it goes. Round two, fight. So I will tell my opponent GG's after this one. Wasn't 
intending this video to be a super long one anyway. Just like to give my thought process on learning matchups and learning games. There I go again, ju uh, jumping in <laughs> and getting greedy with the close meaties. All right, good games, Lava Level Lover. I do. Gene wins!